Listen, y'all, we about to get into some Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye and inner, inner City Blues. I was going to tell y'all I have hiccups, so bear with me. But as y'all can see, um, your boy got hiccups, bro. But I'm human. Everybody got hiccups. You probably had hiccups yesterday. Don't judge me. But anyway, Marvin Gaye, Inner City Blues, bro. Marvin Gaye, I just listened to a podcast about your, your life, a deep dive. I was trying to learn more about you. You got a troubling past, bro. You have a very troubling past, but I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Marvin Gaye, Inner City Blues. Let's get into it. I know who on the bongos got it. What? I have my sunglasses on too long. This is like. Am I tripping or is it, does this look like it was filmed in modern times, bro? When was this uploaded? This was uploaded. 12 years ago, okay. Um, I just gotta look at every, you know what's going to do? You know, you know what's going to tell the story, really? The haircuts, the hairstyles gonna tell me when this was filmed. Because this looks very clear to be when Marvin, because when did Marvin Gaye die? Marvin Gaye died, <gasps> bro, this is crazy. Okay, Marvin Gaye. Marvin Gaye died in 1984. I don't know if cameras were this clear, bro. I've seen Thriller. I don't, I don't know if cameras were this clear in 84. This looks recent. This ain't living, bro. Um, no, I guess it's like the soul. <gasps> what is, bro? I'm trying. I'm trying to hold in my breath. I'm not about to scare myself. I just moved into a new place, bro. I'm not even 100. percent You know what I'm saying? You know when you move into somewhere <gasps> and to somewhere new, and you're not. 100% comfortable. I still watch the ring camera I got on the front door. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm, I'm what, bro. If, every time you get an alert, I'm there every second. I'm sometimes just watch, watching out of it live. I'm not, I'm not about to scare myself, not here. But anyway, I don't know if it's a soul, which that you call, call it, but what's that song? Marvin Gaye, I Want You. It's like Marvin Gaye has his way, he has his way of having songs to where like, the lyrics, the lyrics aren't too complicated, the lyrics aren't too much, but it's just more of the rhythm of the song, it's more of the beat of the song, something that just, in, it, 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 it just grabs hold of, of, of your mental, just, you know, it's just, I, it's not a mellow, I don't want to, I want to seem like it's, mellow by what I just did with the mm, but that's just me trying to search for a word for it but I can't really search for a word not off the top of my head it may come it may come to me later but yeah, I, I, I assume it's the soul of the song
<laughs> no, sometimes you have to let that that feeling simmer. And this is where I get a even bigger appreciation for my dad, right? Because my mom, to my recollection, now I could be wrong here, like I said, but growing up, my mom sometimes she would be work part time, or she just won't work. You know what I'm saying? And then it would just be my pops with his main in income, and then he have side incomes like side hustles as well, right? And this is where I will always want to emulate my dad because my pops always found a way to make some make sure he had money. And as a kid, I didn't really see it. Because I'm going to be honest, we were broke, bro. Grew up broke. I remember one time. <laughs> I got my first pair of Jordans, bro. I got my first pair of Jordans. I was what? And... 10th grade, 11th grade. And I got my first pair and I wore them Jordans to the ground. They weren't even like OGs, like the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours. They were team Jordans, bro. But just because they had that Jordan logo, I used to wear, I used to stuff my feet in my older brother's shoes just because like he was working at the time. So like he wasn't really, as crazy as a kid, you you, you look back on the, the money you make and you're like, man, I blew so much money, but my brother was in high school at the time, so he was working, so he was just buying his own clothes. So he would buy all the clothes that's in style and fashion. I'm still wearing hand-me-downs, so I went before I go to school. And my, I was bigger than my older brother, so I would stuff some of his clothes, and then i just go to the bathroom and try to change. Granted, the clothes would be a little bit tight or a little bit too small, but I'm talking about I used to work around school uncomfortable. Like, my feet balled up. I wear two sizes bigger than my brother in shoes. Just so I can have on some J's, bro. But the appreciation comes from, it's like, man, I think back. Granted, we're in a different economy status than back when I was a child, but. One income, three kids? One income, a part-time income, three kids, bro? Bills. And, and, and I look back and I cringe because I wasn't a well, a well behaved child all the time. I was getting kicked out of school. I was just doing stuff. And I cringe looking back at it now. But all that to say this, and I know I'm a bit long with it, but I'm 26, right? And I compare myself a lot now. And I don't have kids, I don't have dependents. And I get like, I when I get broke, bro, my mental is <clears throat> shot. When, I'm, when I got it, I'm good. But when I'm broke, my mental's not straight. I, 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 I don't want to talk. I don't, I'm not trying to laugh until my, my money get right. But I can imagine having kids. I can imagine being on one income, bro. That's where the that's where the appreciation for my pops and like, bro, the fact that he was able to keep that all together. We didn't have a lot of money going up. Like, and he still was able to make a way, man. This what y'all got up north? I know Marvin Gaye wasn't from the south. And I know y'all like to make fun of the south for the, the bugs and critters that we got down here, bro. But we ain't got no hissing cockroaches, no Madagascar cockroaches. I don't know what kind of roach this is. But that's crazy, bro. I'm sorry, Marvin. I don't know where you from. I'm thinking Michigan. I'm thinking somewhere up north. I'm not thinking Alabama or Georgia or Florida. You know what I'm saying? If you got these in your house, you need to call the CDC, honestly. That's crazy. That's crazy. Roaches so big, they look like they can walk up on their own. Just take off. And just quit, bro. Mm -hmm. 
we already in a crime ridden area. We're not about to give you no benefit of the doubt. And I honestly think this is why a lot of people within impoverished areas lead to drugs and alcohol. And I think with that stress, maybe that resentment, that, that guilt, like I said, when I'm broke, my mental's not right, bro. My mental's not, and you need an outlet for that. And gym memberships cause. I got crunch fitness right now, bro. I have crunch fitness right now, and they be talking, I don't even go. I just have it just for the weekends. Just because the gym that I go to on the regular, my job has a gym. And I go there through the week. But on the weekends, I like to live, you know what I'm saying? So I got me a little crunch fitness. But just for the weekends, it's $22 a month. That's not even a maintenance charge where they sometimes charge me like $70 to $100, bro. Out of, you can't afford that, especially if you live in paycheck to paycheck to paycheck with children. Children are unpredictable. They get hurt. As a child, I thoroughly believe that a child one through eight, they main goal is to try to kill themselves, bro. Kids just do dumb stuff, jump from high places, don't listen, put their finger in the in outlet. Kids try to kill themselves. So we, you can't afford a gym membership. So what's the other outlet? What's the other escape from this world? What's the other escape from living like this? <laughs> Drugs and alcohol. That's why they got them on every stoner, stoner, every corner in impoverished areas, right next to the gun store. Gas station for the smoke. Drug store, or not drug store, alcohol liquor store right there next to the gun store, bro. I've seen it often. And then if you grow up seeing stuff like that, you don't think nothing of it. You need that outlet. But I'm telling y'all, man, if y'all are there, live. That, that gym is the best outlet you can have. I'm telling you, the gym is the best outlet. Hey, I kind of like how he changed it up, slowed it down. It's like two songs within one. Um, these pictures, man. I love, I love history. Um, mainly, I think it stems from, and I've always wanted a huge family. I think it mainly stems from not really knowing too much of my own family. I got a handful of family that I keep in contact with but like when it comes I have my immediate family and then I have like a small circle of extended family but honestly my family is so big and so many of us I could walk by some somebody in Florida or in rural Georgia and maybe my family and I not even know it bro because like my family they it's it just it's it, it's not the way I would like it to be um Growing, growing up, I used to, and family's always been a big part of me. And growing up, I used to, um, I used to love Christmas time, but I used to hate Christmas time because I would see 
a lot of a lot of my classmates, a lot of people that I knew, they would post pictures up a staircase. They'd be these huge family celebrations. Thanksgiving would be these huge. And if I gathered everybody that I knew from my family, every single person that I knew off the top of my head, wouldn't even be half as many people that showed up and wearing the same matching pajamas, huge table, and they eating around. And I used to hate it, bro. I used to be envious of it, but. I'm happy with, you know, you have to be happy with what you have and, and, appreciate, and appreciate what you have. Um, so family has always been a huge thing to me. And that's why I love sometimes seeing like old family photos or the black and white photos. My grandma had filled up a photo album. Um, just feel connected with the ones that I never got to meet. And, um, and to know that I care, even though they're no longer here and I never met them. Their blood flows through my veins, bro. The blood flows through my veins. Um, but I don't know. It's something about black and white family photos. I just love to see. Especially ones like these, like where... I just love to see them. Everybody thinks we're wrong. Mother, who are they to judge us? Mother, mother, simply call me sweet where I have all mother, mother. good song man um i didn't mean for this reaction to be this long and maybe that's what mom intended us this to be a song of reflection a song of deep thinking but that's what it got me doing <laughs> i can't get rid of this hiccup. but like i said um it's not very it's not a very complex song the lyrics are very simple i don't know if it's the beat or what it is but it kind of captures a reflective feeling um like i said it could be the soul of the song but it really gets you do with deep thinking with the video the video is so well done it's so well done that it makes you appreciative of what you have and and, and makes you really reflect makes you really reflect but i would like to see how y'all felt how y'all feel while watching this um like i said i didn't intend for this video to be this long but it is what it is. It is what it is. I'm glad I did this reaction. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that like button. You truly rock your boy. Make sure you subscribe, comment, comment, let me know what you think down below. But that's all I got for y'all, man. I'm up out of here.